In this video, we'll be looking at how to get rid of a bit of haze that is present in the image and then bring back the clarity with the details by using clarity filter inside Affinity. So without any further ado, let's get started. So before starting, first of all, if you want to follow along with this tutorial, then please find the link for the image in the description. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified about new tips and tricks related to Affinity. So now without any further delay, let's get started. So first of all, on our layers panel, so first of all, on our layers panel, let's select our image one layer and then duplicate it. And I'll be using the shortcut key of command J as I'm using the Mac. And if you're using Windows, you can use the shortcut key of control J, duplicate it. After making the copy of the layer, let's double click on the layer and name it image two. And now after naming it as image two, let's remove our haze that is present in this image first. So to do that, Let's navigate up and select pixel and inside pixel navigate below and select filters and inside the filters option navigate below and then select the option that is called haze removal. And now you can see that affinity has automatically analyzed our image and removed the haze. So we want to make adjustments to the settings of haze removal. So we don't want to remove the haze completely. So let's decrease the strength option by dragging the slider of the strength option a bit to the left and then let's decrease the distance slider in order to cover as much distance as possible for now for this image so i'll drag it a bit to the right like so for distance slider and now i'll hit on apply to commit now after hitting on apply to commit now you can see that the haze has been removed from our image so this is the before and this is the after and now after removing the haze we can see or notice one of the issue in our image which is there are no details available in the clouds and the clouds portion of our image are clipping so in order to recover a bit for that we should simply add a layer mask to our image too where we have applied the haze removal filter effect so to add a layer mask let's actively select the image to first which has already been selected but so after selecting image 2 now let's navigate below to this particular icon called mask layer and click on it so after clicking on mask layer icon now you can see that a new mask layer has been added to this image 2 right here which is highlighted by blue border around the layer mask that indicates that the mask is currently being selected now select the brush tool at the left in the toolbar and make sure that the foreground is set to black color and with the layers panel now let's select our brush by selecting on the brush panel right here and by selecting the brush panel now let's select a soft round brush which is automatically which is selected from the start so after selecting the soft round brush of your preference now let's move back to our layers panel and make sure that our layer mask is selected actively which is indicated by this blue border around our layer mask and now let's paint over at the top of the image like so in order to hide the sky's portion of the image non-destructively after masking it out which is the sky portion in the image now let's select and change our tool first to move to and now let's select our image instead of selecting the individual layer mask by clicking on the thumbnail of our image to layer so after selecting the image now let's navigate up to pixel and let's navigate below inside the pixel and select something called new live filter layer so basically this is a non-destructive way of adding filter inside of affinity and it is a live filter so let's navigate and go to sharpen category and inside the sharpen category let's select clarity option so after selecting the clarity option now you can see that we have live clarity box popped up now in order to bring back the strength or the details inside of our rock in the image Let's drag the slider of strength a bit to the right and recover the clarity of the rocks. Now I'm fine with somewhere at 44% for now. And after I'm satisfied, I'll close the live clarity box in order to commit our live clarity effect or filter inside image 2. Now our details or information from the rock has been recovered or the structure of the rock has been recovered 
by using the live clarity filter inside of affinity so let's check the before and after so this is the before on how image was which was hazy and there was not much details present in the rock regarding the texture and now if we turn this eyeball on again now you can see that our image has gotten rid of the haziness as well as the structural detail or the texture of the rock has been retained or brought back using the clarity filter so this is how you can use the clarity filter along with his removal inside of your image to bring back your images detail and information and to make your image very much professional overall so if you find this video helpful, please click on the like button and for more tips and tricks related to affinity hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching this video and see you on the next video.